we're going to stake out a series of data using the TCP GPS application from Appletop. Once the project has been created and our GNSS connected by protocol NTRIP to a Spanish positioning network in this case, we are going to stake out a series of points and linear entities that we can import from different formats, such as DWG, DFX, or even Shapefile, and stake it out in real time. After opening the application, we go to the manager and import the point file that we want to stake out. Import points. In the upper corner, it shows the supported formats. We choose the XYZ order. We are going to survey mode and as important note to say that if the points are coded, the application will represent them by codes. In this case, it is about the street sewage wells, stormwater in blue and fecal water in red. Now, by pressing the stakeout button, we enter stakeout mode, where we see all points and the stakeout options. In the layer manager, we deactivate the base map to show the information more clearly. Now we can graphically select the point we want to stake out automatically. In the left part, it informs us of the movements that we must make to reach the target point. In the upper left corner, the elevation difference is shown. For this, TCP GPS gives a series of tools that will help us in the stakeout tasks, such as compass options to orient us to the target point. It also has different ways, positioning ourselves with respect to movement, orienting ourselves with respect to the shadow or the sun, etc. Likewise, we can select the point to stake out from the list of points. We click on the list icon and the full list of existing points in the project is displayed. From here, the desired point is selected, and we see how it is changed to the marked point. Of course, the stakeout data is updated on the screen. In this line, we can also filter the points by code to do an easy access. And if we select the code from those available, only the points with that code will be shown. Another very quick option to select points, it is to move using the arrows. We can access the points in their order of numbering and change to the next point to stake out easily and quickly. Once the point is reached, we can save the differences between the theoretical position and the staked out one. The application warns if you are out of tolerance. Following this line of work, we can also stake out lines, polylines, roads, analysis of surfaces and slope control, more specific tasks during the execution phase of a work that we will see in the following videos like this. Let's see how to stake out a line between two points, and the application asks us to indicate graphically the initial and final points that make up the alignment. Once done, the reference alignment is displayed and the data of the current position regarding to the alignment and both points origin and destination, the current elevation difference, etc. A very practical option would be to make a parallel of it. So we enter the distance. It shows the parallel line and the stakeout information regarding this new alignment. Finally, we press the survey button if we wish to return to survey mode. These tools speeds up the stakeout tasks in the different projects that we carry out throughout our professional life.